Good afternoon everyone, my name is Erdy Pider. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, where we're going to check out a new map. This is Shire Farm, based in the UK. And it looks really interesting. Okay, so I can't change my name. Oh, there you go, change the name. There we go. I don't know why it was Erdy P. Alrighty. Ooh, it's a little janky. Oh, hello. Chicken coop, straight off. Not bad. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have? So we have a baler. Uh, that would be a fertilizer spreader. We have a pickup. Uh, I think that's a planter, uh, cultivator, uh, a nice little tractor there. Oh, you have to forgive me, I do not remember the names of all the tractors. Uh, we have a plow. Ooh, yay, lawnmower. Interesting, okay, ooh, nice. That's a decent harvester, actually. Couple more, quite a few tractors on this, damn. I will be keeping all these tractors more than likely. I will have a look around, see what other tractors I can get. Okay, so that's uh, that's the cedar. Uh, then we've got a slurry tanker. Nice. Uh, we've got a trailer. We have a manure spreader. And that's a bale loader. Cool. Okay. Oh, there's the header. I'm already liking this map. Now, I played this in multiplayer, so I know the layout of the map to an extent, but um, it's the first time I've done it um, single player on New Farmer. So I'm just going to play this in relatively easy mood couple of silage pits. I've got some really nice silage pits that I'm going to replace them with though. Uh, they're really really cool pits that I want to try out. Um, I will show here. Um, where are they? I don't know why I'm still using that mod. Here it is. So simply put You've got a ramp on one end and there's a, a cover over it and you can literally um, just drive up on top of it and dump into the silo. Uh, it makes spreading it out a lot simpler. I mean we can't do that right now uh, but we will do. Right so we have, I think these are all grass fields, yeah these are all grass fields. But we want to wait a day before we harvest them. And I think we should have another field somewhere. But there you go. Uh, oh, that's wheat. Okay. So we can start by gathering the wheat. So we have our header there. But where's the wheat field from here? Oh, oh we have a couple of uh, lifters as well. Nice, and some tools, bale loader, shovel, that's a silage fork, not bad, oh, oh, we've even got a sprayer ready to go, nice, uh, for, I think I saw a repair point here, yeah, there, okay, right, so this is grass here, uh, which means, there it is, there's the wheat farm, the, the wheat field. Boom. Which means we've already got wheat for chickens. So we can actually start off with chickens because they're actually pretty good money. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to grab the harvester and the header. 
I think I can attach the header to the back of the harvester. Yeah, it's got a hitch there. What the? Oh, right. Options. Duh. Right. So, we want it on normal. Um, off, save off. Traffic on. Yes, 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 yes. That's off. Good. Crop structure on. Periodic plowing on. Field stone off. Lime off. Uh, weeds off. I just can't stand mine. Uh, dirt normal. Automatic engine start off. Trailer fill limit off. Stop and go breaking on fuel usage and then turn that into them and then we will save that. Okay. Oh wow, my sound is really low. Um what we are oh that would help. There we go. Right, so we're going to start by harvesting the wheat. Oh, yeah, I can't see out of that. Uh, you'll probably hear me spinning the... Uh, way and we need to go around here and that that uh, rock crusher is in a really awkward place oh got a little trailer there as well very nice but I just want to get started on the farm work like I said, um, I've been playing these this uh, map on a multiplayer server, so I know the layout of the map itself. That's it. I need it to turn like that. jump into something oh this will do oh it's right there as well we'll get that trailer out of the way this not hook up oh that sucks I'm sure it could okay oh yeah I forgot about this thing I don't even know why I didn't mention it when we kind of ran past it Pretty sure this should be able to hook up to it. It's a useful little vehicle. Come on. There we go. Right, so let's get that header trailer out of the way. Um, we'll just put it down here somewhere for now. Honestly, probably won't use it. I generally just store my headers in random places. So. Like that. And like that, that 
harvest going. <coughs> now normally I would use cosplay but I've got into the habit of for my first first time when I first start a map I'll first start by pretty much doing everything myself. Um, no you need to stop I want the straw uh, 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 uh. What else actually selected? Where's the straw swath? I think it's that. Yep, there we go. Might as well do some bales because I'm not going to use them right now, but I can sell them to make more cash. Uh, the wheat is going to go into the silo. Uh, because that we're going to save that for the chickens uh, and I'll buy some chickens once I've got the wheat and we can feed them well I'll probably get the headlands done and then I might hire a worker just to do the straights and then I'll start bailing kind of limited on time for recording but I will do my best alrighty so I will see you when it is done okay so first load is done um, didn't even get all the way around the head, which was quite surprising. Uh, the field's a lot bigger than it looks. But we are going to go empty our first load. And then we will continue with the harvest. Now, I'm pretty sure I missed quite a few bits. Oh, I'm better off going this way. Instead of having to go all the way around. Oh. Getting stuck on everything. Careful not to drive into the car. Oh, that's not good. Can I get back round there? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, I don't want to be driving through me crap. That wouldn't be very smart now, would it? Right, so looks like we're going to have to go the long way around. Alrighty, we're coming up on the unload. Awesome. So that's already, I think it's 11,000 litres it can hold, or is it 12? 12, I think it is. Yeah, 12,000 litres. Awesome. Right, so we will leave that there and we will jump back in the harvester. Pipe is in, header is active, and off we go. And I will see you when I set my worker loose already then so 
<coughs> worker is now working. <coughs> He's going at it at a bit of a weird angle. Not sure how he's going to handle. Oh, okay, so he's he's basically just going in a straight line. Well, we'll leave him to it and we'll see how he does. Let's grab us another tractor. Oh, we got a second load off the headland, which was nice. Um, I need to see what tra what tractors are what. Uh, right, so I have one large which is the Axion 960, I think that's the one pulling the trailer and we've got two mediums and then we've got the small so the Arion 660, 870, 830 and the 960 right so 870, 880 That's the 660, okay, so that's a small one. Which means this, yeah, this is the big one. Okay, so let's go grab the baler and we will start baling. I think it's round here. Yeah, there it is. But I should have just reversed around, but never mind. Okay, so change bale size to 240. Oh, this one drops squares. Interesting. I don't think I've used this one before. Uh, oh, unfold. Power up. Drop. And off we go. And I think this one automatically drops as we go, which is awesome. Now, if if I was using cosplay, this would be awesome because uh, all I have to do is copy and paste the course that the harvester takes and put it into the tractor that pulls the baler, and it'll bail. It'll just bail itself. It's awesome. Oh, I miss a little bit, sir. Oh, yeah, it looks like the worker's doing good. Hopefully, he gets to the end and turns around before he needs it um, emptying. working towards our first bale looks like it's I think that the first bale is actually done it's working on the next bale and the first one's just slowly being pushed out that is so cool and there goes the first bale that's pretty awesome. Now we're going to have to figure out where to store these bales um, until they can be sold, preferably somewhere with a roof. Because I think they go bad if you leave them out in the weather. For example, if it rains, and I think my tra other tractor might be in my way. There's bail number two. Yeah, it looks like the end of the tractor's in the way. But that's fine. Let's park 
back it up here so it's not in the way. And off we go. And we should see our harvester on the return trip soon. It's Attack of the Crows. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the harvester on its return. Oh, looks like it needs unloading. So we will do that now. And then we can go unload this. in the silo ready for the chickens and judging off how much I've already got I'm probably gonna have enough to keep the chickens fed all year when do eggs um, peak for price let's have a look eggs in November Oh, we're in August so we'll get three months worth that we can sell not too shabby alrighty then I will bring you back when I've finished alrighty welcome back harvesting is now done and the baling is as well i uh, just got to empty the harvester, put the harvester away. I'm going to go put the bale, baler away now. Uh, I'm going to keep it round here, I think. Um, where can I put it? Now, I'm going to put the harvester in there with that. I guess we can put the baler. Why have I got my lights on? I'm going to put the baler back here because we're going to keep that as a wheat farm to feed the chickens although we'll get a hell of a lot more than we did this time uh, I'm not sure on the exact figure I think it's around 60,000 or 70,000 okay right uh, before we do this let's grab this go empty Mr. Harvester and then we'll put the harvester away. Um, we'll go fill up the chicken coop so that's done. Put the rest in the silo. Oh, we could just leave the trailer there. I might fill the silo completely. Uh, fill the trailer complete, completely and leave it next to the chicken coop. That way I can just keep filling it until the trailer's empty prefer if the trailer had a cover uh, I don't think the weather will affect the grain inside the trailer okay it's another 19,000 so let's go see how much grain in total we got and I found a nice little shortcut over here through uh, the cattle barn I think it's called a cattle barn cattle shed I think it's a cattle shed alright so first things first let's get this into the silo oh I think I turned a bit too late ooh close right, let's get this into the silo and we'll see how much in total we have and it's just started raining damn I finished that harvesting just in time Ooh, 91,000. That's a lot of wheat. Okay, so let's fill her up. And we will go feed the chickens. And we will buy the chickens while we're there. And then once we've done that, uh, I want to try 
the baling trailer and see what that's like because I've not actually done the baling for uh, the square bales I've never used a square baler before I've used a round baler to do silage but I've not used a square baler yet so I'm very curious to see um, how that works right so how am I going to do this probably the easiest way will be to bring it round here and then reverse it in see the plan is to just leave it here okay so it's up 9,000 but that was the plan but because of the rain it don't make sense to leave it exposed so I was gonna park it there but the trailer would take up too much space so we will find a nice little shed to park it up in. Yeah, we can just put it back here. It's not far from the chickens. And this tractor is going to stay attached to this trailer anyway. So let's go get the baler and let's go get those bales out of the rain. I've still got to figure out where I'm putting these bales. Um, what's in this shed round here? Yeah, I guess we could just stick them in there. Maybe a little awkward, but I'm sure we can manage. I think the baler. Uh, the bale trailer is around here somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, no, I know. There it is. Not sure how many this can pick up. Or how it unstacks. Uh, how it unloads or anything. But, oh, did I miss that? Yeah, I did. I know how it picks up. I've used the round bale of the trailer because, of course, I've been I've been doing I've done silage uh, bales. Although we don't really need to on here because we've already got silos. Right. So, uh, oh no, that's not how you unfold it. Uh, right. So operating position. Ah. Okay. So now we just basically drive up and boom. That is pretty sweet. I don't really need to do this. I could just use a trailer because I do have the universal auto load mod. But there's nothing wrong with doing it the proper way. Well, maybe Maybe it can hold eight or ten. Two more down here. I love how it folds up like that. That is so cool. There might be more than ten that I can fit on here. Well, I'll bring you back when the first load is done. Alrighty, so it looks like I can hold 14. Well, that is the first load done. So we will go put them away. I'm not sure how this unloads. But I guess we're going to find out. Right, so we're going to put it in here. Best off coming round like that, round like that. Um, change 
straighten it up. Okay, so uh, unload, unload, unload is uh, normally that. Right, is it that? Oh yeah, there you go. How's it gonna? Is it gonna collapse? Collapse? Ooh, that's. I thought it was gonna do a, a collidey thing. There we go, and then we drive away. Oh, right, more to the left next time. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to go this way and turn around. Alrighty then. Well, I will bring you back once I've gathered all these bales. Alrighty, welcome back. As you can see, it is still raining, thunder, and it's lovely. And these are the last two bales. Uh, in total almost three full loads which is really nice uh, 41 bales although I did almost tip my uh, tractor and trailer over um, when I was unloading the, the second load because I forgot to account for the uh, the loading arm coming out during unloading so yeah that was interesting let's go unload this last set of bales and then we can put our harvester away and go buy our chickens turning circle for this trailer is very limited so getting this trailer in is kind of awkward I'm going to try and get them in the middle Hopefully the ceiling's high enough. It'll unload just fine. It's the uh, when I pull out afterwards that's a bit, a bit nerve wracking. Already, perfect. So three lovely stacks of hay bales. Very nice. Are you gonna, yeah, you're gonna be awkward and not let me turn this time, aren't you? I mean, I could have took the shortcut through the cow shed, but it's fine. Right, so uh, we can put this. Uh, where can we put this? Yeah, I guess I should really move. Uh, where are you? There you are. Let's move this thing. We've got to go get the uh, the header anyway. Um, I think we have to be facing the other way. I think that's how it's supposed to go on. I just hope this thing can pull the header when it's actually on the trailer. Right, leave you there. Oh. While I'm here. Let's 
get that pipe. Yeah, I've just started the engine. Almost turned it off. Alright, so let's get that pipe away. That not go on properly? I don't think it did. Oh, is it too far forward? I really can't tell. Is it supposed to go on the other way? See, no directions. <laughs> My own fault. I should have paid attention before. Alright, let's see what happens if I put it on this way. Now, I was sure they snapped. And went straight onto the trailer. No, that doesn't look any better. No, it must be the other way around. What I'll have to do. Alright, let's get this harvester put away. And we will spin its butt around. And it will go in here, out of the way for now. off. Right, where are you? Where are you? There you are. And we will just put the bale trailer in here. I'll do that for now. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Awesome. So now all we have to do is park you up here. And then we need to find... There you are. Until we get an obscene amount of eggs he's going to be our egg runner and we have a very nice little trailer here I don't know if he can hook up to it let's find out if not we can just grab one of the other tractors nope we can't okay so I'm probably going to take this back to the shop and sell it because if I can't use it for anything what's the point in having it oh I need to bring the header back lock that in place so it doesn't go anywhere where can I put this I need it somewhere where it's easy access but it's not in the way I guess we can just put it here under the trees for now. Like so. Okay, so uh, let's grab you. You're going to be our little egg runner. Go 
buy the chickens. And then once we've bought the chickens, we will call the video there. I'm going to try and make the videos a bit shorter. Now that I can uh, actually pause mid recording, which is very, very useful. It means I can cut out a lot of the stuff that um, people tend not to watch. And I've just gone the complete wrong way. Nice sharp turns with this, lovely. Okay, so eggs spawn on that. Oop. Eggs spawn on the opposite side. So we need to bat this trailer in. considering all these damn cars in the way awesome okay so let us buy some chickens where's the buy point it's back there I do like how they've set this up it does look really nice so we're just going to go straight for um, oh we'll get one chicken uh, one rooster of course and I'm going to go make sure you actually click on these and then select them first so click select and then buy otherwise it jumps over to here without you realizing and you'll accidentally sell There we go. That didn't cost all that much, to be honest. And we have loads of chickens. And thanks to this coop, we don't need to worry about mess or water. I love these chicken coops. Awesome. Ooh, a little playground. Well, that's a thought. I wonder if we can finish up by finding a collectible if there is even any collectibles on this map I have, I have no idea there's usually 20 or 100 um, so yeah uh, oh there you go boom got two nice Oh, third. Are you going to let me up? How the hell am I supposed to get that one? Oh, there you go. Very nice. So, three collectibles already. Is this the house? Yeah, this is the house. Is there any up on the roof? I don't see any. Well, we are going to call it a day here on this stormy, stormy day. Um, if you stuck through to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please feel free to like and subscribe. It's always helpful. Until next time. Stay safe, take care, bye-bye.